We are going to demonstrate how to correctly clean up a blood or body fluid spill. In this video, you will observe the dental assistant dealing with vomit on the floor. To be able to do this correctly, you need to follow the correct policies and procedures that are set out by your employer or workplace. You also need to have knowledge of how to identify hazards and risks assess the situation and to take appropriate action in order to control the risks. You are then required to report the incident to your supervisor so that the processes can be monitored and reviewed. Step one, identify the hazard and check for immediate danger. For this scenario, you have completed a clear away from the patient just seen so you would place the dirty instruments you are holding into the dirty section and remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. Step two, follow company policy and procedures by placing the safety sign close to the hazard and get the spill kit. Unpack the supplies needed for cleaning. This will include paper towels, detergent wipes removed from the packets, disinfectant solution, not a spray bottle, disposable bags and a waterproof apron. Step three, don the correct PPE. For the sake of this demonstration, gloves of different colors will be used to demonstrate clean hands and dirty hands. Use your dirty hand, your dominant hand, and pick up as much vomit as you can with paper towels and place into a disposable bag. The disposable bag is held on the outside with your clean hand, your non-dominant hand. Step four, wipe with a detergent wipe using your dirty hand, your dominant hand, and use paper towels to dry the area. Place the dirty paper towels into the same bag and place into a biohazard bin if available. Step 5. It is recommended that a disinfectant, that is 0.5% sodium hypochlorite solution, be applied, not sprayed, to the area. Use your non-dominant clean hand to apply the chemical and leave the chemical on for the time recommended by the manufacturer. In this case we used Contain 5000 and it's recommended to leave it on the area for 10 minutes. Step six, now remove your PPE and perform hand hygiene. Step seven, after the recommended time has passed, don PPE and use paper towels to absorb the disinfectant solution and discard it in a general rubbish bin. Continue to dry the area with more paper towel and discard this also in the rubbish bin. Step eight, remove your PPE and dispose of it in the appropriate bin and perform hand hygiene. Remove the safety signs and put the spill kit away after restocking it if required. Report this to the supervisor and fill out an incident form appropriately. You can refer to the video on Blackboard about how to correctly fill out these forms. If 
the vomit was on carpet, the area would need to be professionally cleaned. This is the final step, step 11.